one of the uh, ma main uh, statements expressed by the IPCC about 25 or 30 years ago uh, and still kept is that the increase in CO2 concentration is capable to um, unbalance the Earth radiation budget and thus in order to reach the balance with uh, Earth's effective temperature must rise. This theory is developed on the basis of analyzing annual mean budget values of budget components because using annual means the IPCC was able to uh, neglect actual variability and in order to understand that the IPCC theory is very far from the reality. It is possible to look at generation of uh, possible uh, of possible radiation balance in the uh, annual basis. Here is an idealized, idealized scheme how to the annual balance of the radiation budget um, can be reached. The full line is um, computed, uh, absorbed so solar radiation in the climate system and the horizontal uh, scale is in five-day uh, time, time steps, so 73 steps is, contains year, and uh, it is not that, and precisely year, it is from uh, uh, winter solstice to the next winter solstice. And the left line is actual no, satellite data from no archive representing 25 year mean data. In order to get annual mean balance, the albedo is, is um, chosen correspondingly and the difference with reality here is due to the situation that actual solar constant is not, a, not con constant. It, it was defined constant more than 50 years ago for, for theoretical computation, but 30 year satellite me radiation measurements showed that it changes. Actually, it is a function of solar activity, but a random function. And another problem is with albedo, which is actually uh, practically unknown. Uh, we have only uh, short periods of satellite data, satellite measured albedo, and uh, 
estimates. Variability of the so called solar constant, it's practically called the total solar radiance, total solar irradiance and, and theoretically it is a sample value of a solar constant. But you, the comparison of annual TSC values with annual Wolf numbers, which is a well known measure of solar activity, shows that, that they are. changing very similarly and that active, uh, in active periods, the annual TSE values are approximate, at the top of atmosphere, uh, are approximately one watts per meter squared higher than, than spot values for the periods of spotless sun. This, this, this is the variability not changeable by human being and even not by Professor Hansen, and which introduces much more complicated uh, research to study climate when the analysis made by the IPCC using only annual values. But, but this shows that actual variability is in, inside the cycle. Absorbed solar radiation is a function of, of albedo also. Unfortunately, I am no uh, realistic, no, seemingly most realistic albedo data during uh, an, an annual cycle. Uh, but, and But this shows that the Earth radiation budget is constructed by means of random values. And so it cannot be guaranteed that but in its annual values should be balanced. This means that, that the very basis of uh, uh, IPCC that <laughs> the balanced um, uh, stable climate is, is coincident with radiation balance is baseless. Actually stable climate, according to way more instruction, it needs 30-year averaging. And, but in, in practical Satellite data up to now um, show uh, 
only short periods. So, in order to get more realistic cl climate studies, one needs to assume that there is no re radiation ba balance, but it's, uh, it's a fluctuation. And in order to study the CO2 influence, one needs to, to compare effect of CO2, CO2 increase, annual increase with various experimentally obtained radiation budget fluctuation. And this is the IPCC results which, which was produced by Schwarz, but uh, about four um, watts per meter square is the result of, of difference in, in the outgoing long wave radiation is, is a result of doubling CO2 concentration. If we divide it with dub doubling result to, to uh, yes, approximately, it, it will take in current, uh, current concentrations about 150 years to, to the noble. When we got 0 0.03 watts per meter square annual part of it. So comparing this annual part with possible or, or established or found uh, satellite me measurements shows that the CO2 uh, increase uh, has no effect in for our climate. So Thank you.